talk video, shall we? Videos are one of the most powerful tools that we have in our online repertoire. If you're watching this, you were raised on some type of video. For my generation, it was TV. For my sons, it was computers. And for the younger generation, it's handheld devices. We are watching videos all day long. It's why YouTube is the second biggest online uh, channel there is. I think it's second. How do you effectively use this medium to keep people's attention? Don't make the mistake that I see a lot of people do, and that is run video clips that are way too long. Think of your video as just like a, a vignette, a story. Make your point and then get on with the presentation. I use this clip when I ask a question, have you ever felt this way after staring at a computer all day? It's short, it makes the point, and I can move on. Now, I could tell a story, I could give statistics. Remember, statistics bore people. People don't want to hear numbers. They will remember the picture of this woman falling asleep at her desk and they will immediately relate to it. Even if they haven't done that, they felt like doing it from time to time. The second clip is of our youngest dog, Riley the Mini Chihuahua. She is exhibiting an activity that many people term the Zoomies. All right, now that has nothing to do with Zoom presentations, but I think it's appropriate if you've been staring at Zoom all day, do you get the Zoomies? Now I show this clip, it's about eight, 10 seconds long. The actual clip is two minutes and 20 seconds long. My family and I, we love it. We'll watch it over and over again, but you don't want to see my dog, even though she, she really is a cool dog. You just want to me to make the point and then move on. When you get the emotion of the dog running around in circles really fast, it's a laugh, it's quick, and then move on, make your point. So be careful when you're using video. Use just enough to make your point and then move on with your presentation. I look forward to seeing you in tip number 10. Hi, this is Michael Davis of Speaking CPR. If you like the information in this tip, you will love the report we just created. It's called Stop Zoom Burnout Now. It contains dozens of tips, insights, and ideas on how to keep your virtual presentations fresh and to keep you, the presenter, and your audience from suffering from all the Zoom fatigue and burnout that we hear about these days. There's no cost or obligation to this report. Simply click on the link below. It'll take you to a sign-up page, and then you can download the report. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see you online soon.